Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is uh, ERP system uh, business central. The full name actually is Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. I know that in Finnish market, there are several Dynamics 365 solutions, quite a popular. So I, I just for remark, I say that Dynamics 365 itself, it's not the solution, it's marketing name. Uh, the solution actually is what behind this Mic Dynamics 365. So you can all also hear Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations, what is former AX or Axapta. You can hear Dynamics 365 Field Service, what is for uh, service companies and uh, some more several uh, solutions. I'm going to talk today only about Dynamics 365 Business Central. The former name of Business Central is Dynamics NAV or Navision, uh, however you call it. So, <clears throat> Business Central is ERP system. It, it's not like only bookkeeping or financial system. It can cover actually all the business processes of the company. Starting, of course, from bookkeeping and finance, but uh, as you see on my screen, there are, of course, sales, purchase, inventory, even uh, you can uh, handle the inventory two ways. One, like a simple one, you have something in your stock, but also more complicated or advanced uh, approach is warehouse management, where like a bigger logistics companies or wholesale companies who have bigger uh, warehouses, they have other systems, they have a lot of people working on warehouse, it's more advanced approach. The same goes with the production, actually. We can solve production processes in two or even on, in three ways. Uh, it's, one is just, uh, we call it assembly. In English, it's called assembly. It's just, you take like, uh, for example, you take uh, three products and and you do uh, something with them and the result will be one product. You take uh, wheels and frame and you put uh, together a cycle. But you don't know anything about the capacities, uh, the people, the machines with uh, what you work. And the more advanced approach is uh, where also people and machines are involved. So production projects, uh, uh, service, CRM. So we basically have uh, something for every business process. But today I'm not gonna show you, I'm not gonna demo you the, uh, the these business processes or how to make invoice or something like that. I try to give you the first impression on overview business central and more like integrations with other Microsoft products. But uh, about that later a little bit. Just for them who doesn't know what is Business Central or not uh, are not familiar with that, actually from uh, year uh, uh, 2019, uh, 2018, uh, Microsoft uh, did a renaming and uh, new name uh, for the uh, NAV or Navision uh, was Business Central. So now we have Business Central, the Navis 365 Business Central. The logic actually is the same but the user interface and uh, there is a lot of new functionalities. Uh, the technology is newer one. So these users who are used to use NAV, I believe uh, it's not uh, too hard to go for a new newer version. And what Microsoft does actually, Microsoft has promised that every year, two times, they will launch new version for Business Central. So in the springtime, 1st of April usually, and in the autumn time, 1st of October usually, there will be new version. And with the new version, customers will get new functionality, new technical sites, and so on. Uh, also, for these users who are using uh, currently NAV, uh, there, is, there will be one big change. There is no more Windows client anymore. So if you want to go the latest version, you can't use Windows client. What uh, I believe 99% of uh, customers of NAV, they are using Windows client. Now they only have a, a web client. So in the internet browser, Microsoft calls it the modern client only. So I will, I will do my demo also with a web client. So you will see what, what is actually uh, the web client. So, uh, 
the product itself develops every year. There will be new functionalities. There will be, will be new technolo technological features and everything. So uh, the product itself is up to date all the time. So uh, one more slide. Um, as I mentioned, uh, uh, Microsoft uh, will launch new version twice a year. And uh, as you see here, in every October, in every April, new version comes out and Microsoft supports uh, every version 18 months. So it's, uh, we, we always suggest uh, every customer to keep on the latest version. That means if new version comes out, you will go onto the new version at once. So, and what I'm going to show in the demo today, actually, uh, as I mentioned, I'm not going to show how to create the invoice or something like that. I'm more uh, focused on integrations with other Microsoft uh, products because Microsoft uh, sees uh, all his products as one ecosystem. Uh, this is one ecosystem here and uh, ERP is just one part of that. I believe you're all using uh, parts of Office 365 is it Outlook or Excel or Word or, or whatever? Uh, I will show you the connections with these programs. I will show the Power BI. I a little bit show the Cortana intelligence. What uh, Cortana intelligence is actually is artificial intelligence for, or AI, how to call. Uh, and if I have time, I will show you also Power Apps a little bit. So I believe it's, yeah. It's now the time to demo, uh, and I was I switched to I switched to my web browser. Here it is. So now you should see my web browser. As I mentioned, it's in English at the moment, but uh, I can assure you that it's also in Finnish if you want to use in Finnish. So at the moment you see language is in English, but. Uh, but if I search for Finnish, then Finnish also is available. So, uh, as I mentioned, there is no more Windows client. It's only web client uh, based on web client. And now I'm using uh, Chrome, but uh, whatever you use, everything is supported. Uh, Microsoft Edge, even if you use Mac computers or Apple computers, there are Safaris and other uh, other uh, browsers, they are supported also. Uh, before I go proceed, there is one uh, question I caught, and uh, the question is, uh, does it cost to update NAV to Business Central or how long time the NAV is available? Actually, uh, NAV, I believe, it depends what the kind of version uh, you, you, you are using. NAV, you have 2013, 2015, 2016, 17, 18, and I believe uh, uh, I can uh, I can check it afterwards. But uh, every every uh, version uh, is supported five years. So I will search afterwards. If you Google life cycle of Dynamics 365, I believe you will find the, the answer. And uh, the question. Uh, does it cost to update NAV to Business Central? I believe your idea of question was how much does it cost, if I'm if I'm correct. So it's very hard to estimate. I believe the first investment, if you're going from NAV to Business Central, it's uh, a little bit uh, costly. Not not costly, but it's cost something, and the project is a little bit bigger because technology has changed. And uh, to make this technology change from NAV to Business Central, you have to invest something. Uh, and it depends very much how much developments, customer-specific developments you have. If you already are in Business Central, actually, and all the developments and all the technology is done according to Microsoft rules, then uh, these uh, new versions what come uh, out two times per year, these should be quite easy. We have experience. In Estonia, we have uh, Business Central already two years or uh, 1.5 years, and we have done several uh, version upgrades uh, for smaller customers and the, for very big customers also. The smaller customers, actually, the uh, version upgrades takes, I believe, 
couple of days. But uh, the big customers uh, before uh, for who we made the version upgrades and the projects for, I don't know, two months or three months or four months, now it takes uh, days up to a couple of weeks. So, so it's a it's, uh, total change in this uh, technology and it makes quite easier to keep the customers up to date. Maybe yeah, if I have time, I will also talk about a little bit different versions of Business Central. So let's proceed uh, back to Business Central environment. Now we have uh, here uh, this so-called role center. Uh, I'm not gonna talk uh, much about the uh, concept of role center. The easiest to say that the role center is meant for every business uh, business process. For example, currently I have a business manager and I can see everything, finance, sales, purchasing, and so on. But there are also uh, very different role centers where everybody sees only what they have to see. Manufacturing, human resource in finance, sales order processor, and so on. So now I'm, I am a business manager and I can see almost everything. What is a, one very good thing and my, my personal experience, what I'm using on an everyday basis is this, um, is this uh, like a KPIs or numbers here, what I can bring out to my role center. So if I'm a business manager, I can see sales this month. I don't have to make any additional reports or any additional moves to get this report. So it's uh, quickly, I can see all these numbers and these boxes in uh, Business Central, it's called the queues. And I can see what kind of documents I have uh, idle, what, where I have to react or something to do something. And I can define maybe if some numbers are red or some numbers are green here. And this is all can be defined by user itself. But what is the cool thing is actually, <clears throat> again from my personal experience is that uh, everything is in one screen and I can quickly get overview what I have to do or where I uh, if somebody waiting behind me and uh, I have to accept something or, or something like that. It uh, just uh, seems small things but uh, actually um, actually gives uh, quite a lot of benefit. So let's move on. <clears throat> Of course, I have some uh, built-in reports here, as you see, the cash cycle report. And uh, there are some several more reports. Let's, let's check previous chart. Maybe there is something more. Yeah, these are built-in charts. But what is, the, uh, what is the nice thing is actually, I'm scrolling down here and you can see there is one part. They are calling it Power BI reports. I believe majority of you have at least heard something about Power BI. Power BI is actually the tool for the end customer created by Microsoft, what allows you to create your own dashboards or reports or graphs, and you can use data sources. For example, Business Central can be data source, or Excel can be data source, or if you have you if we're using some other solutions, all these solutions can be data sources for Power BI report, Power BI, and you can create reports there. Let's let's check uh, uh, for a while. Uh, and Power BI is a separate environment. You just uh, choose PowerBI.com, you sign in there. And actually, it's a web-based uh, environment, but you can also download the program to your computer and create uh, create these uh, dashboards and reports. Uh, what I had there, I had top five items sold by quantity, but it's the same uh, same report I created actually in this environment. So what Microsoft did actually, he connected Power BI with uh, with Business Central. And all the reports what you have created in Power BI, you can bring here. So you don't have, have to switch between different solutions. What is good thing? You just collect all necessary reports here. You can even, if you want to change or uh, do something, you can choose the manage report here, actually. And it opens, it opens the same Power BI environment that I showed you, it opens here. 
in uh, in uh, in business central so if i want to change minor changes to do i don't like bars i like pies so i i can make um, i can make changes also inside the business central what what is the nice thing actually uh, you don't have to make this kind of simple reports what i have some top five or top ten something but uh, I also show you, let me check some reports. I have prepared some more reports. RFM analysis, for example. And this is based on Business Central data. So if you have a lot of customers, I believe, not like a 10 or 100 or even thousands customers, I expand it a little bit. Then you, of course, you want to analyze it, analyze these customers. And RFM, it means that... Uh, it shows you the recency of purchases of these customers, the frequency, how often they are buying your products and how much money they spend for you, for your products. So you can analyze where, which kind of customers you, with which kind of customers you have to be more active, where you have to do the marketing and so on. And it's, everything can be done with the Power BI and with the data of Business Central. For example, one fun fun part is like you can <laughs> choose different kind of <laughs> graphs here. I, I will show you just one. So if you have like a long table with customers and the turnovers, it doesn't give you like a quick picture or quick view who are the biggest customers. Now now I can see which are the biggest customers of mine. This green fish should be, yeah, it's a, an Estonian client 1315 who have purchased almost uh, 1 million for 1 million euros. And I can get uh, this kind of quick overviews from uh, from Power BI reports. So, so it's, I, I very, very much suggest you to investigate a little bit. Just type in powerbi.com. You can create your free account and connect it with your business central and start using it. So this was, uh, this was one uh, connection with uh, external solutions. A little bit, I talked about uh, Cortana intelligence, what actually is uh, AI or artificial intelligence. Microsoft has done first steps to bring this AI into the business central. And I will show you some examples. Let's take uh, sales invoices. If you want, if you create sales invoice to some customer and you want to know, is this a good customer? Uh, if uh, the customer pays invoices on time or something like that. One option is that I create a separate report and I get this uh, answer from there. But what Microsoft has done, actually, the small example, if I go <coughs> to the uh, sales invoice and I'm selling something here, and I want to know how, what is the behavior of this customer? So I have the button here, predict payment. And what, what actually it does, it uh, takes the data from Business Central, sends to data center, and data center analyzes that, finds the patterns, and uh, says you back if most probably this customer will yeah uh, will be on time or maybe if if the history hasn't been so good they they won't pay uh, on time so you can make your own decision to give any discount or, or to to give a longer payment period or something like that this is one example of of the uh, artificial intelligence Next example, I'm, I'm going to back to my role center and taking uh, maybe to the product list. Let me items here. And, uh, and I have uh, there several items and you can see um, here are uh, information about my products. But here is one uh, box called forecast. And what Forecast actually does, Forecast, again, he takes all the data from Business Central and sends it to Microsoft data centers who analyze the data, who analyze how this product was sold before, uh, how the purchase department have purchased, uh, purchased uh, this product and predicts at, that in this state, 
I have in inventory four pieces, as you can see. And at the moment, I have four pieces. But if the sales goes in the way like it have been in history, then most probably you will run out the stock. <clears throat> And uh, in in some time you you have minuses in stock, so it's you should purchase this uh, this item. It just helps you make uh, make decisions. So and even you can write from this forecast, you can create a purchase order from here for this for this product. So he finds my preferred vendor. My preferred vendor is Graphic Design Institute. And uh, he found that I should buy 40, 43 pieces of that. Of course, I can change it, uh, but uh, at least machine again have done some steps on behalf of me. So I have, I don't have to take any reports and decide by myself. But machine have suggested me uh, to do the purchase. And if you if you see the upper upper side of the um, of this screen you can see that again on the background the machine has scanned that uh, if i'm going to do the purchase order to this vendor maybe you also want to purchase some other items also from this vendor because they are running also out of stock so uh, i don't have to make any uh, separate purchase order but uh, the he scans and suggests that yeah one, two, three, four, five, five more items I should buy into the, into my stock because they are running out. Though, so this kind of small, uh, small artificial intelligence things uh, are included uh, included in in the solution now. I have more examples. I'm going to run out of the time, but uh, I hope you have uh, some more more uh, ten or fifteen minutes to to stay with me. So. I'm uh, moving on. Uh, the question uh, what I had before is it uh, or how much does it cost to go to the business central? The one technology update what have been in comparing with NAV is uh, so called apps. So if you have like a, your mobile phone, you purchase new, your new mobile phone, uh, and then you for what you can use that mobile phone. You can make calls, you can send SMSs, you can surf around in the internet. But if you want some specific uh, specific functionality, you download the app and you extend your functionality of your phone. If you want to do the sports, you download Endomondo. If you want to ride a taxi, you download Uber or whatever, and you have extended the functionality of your phone. Actually, this kind of approach is uh, is in inside of Business Central now, and that approach makes these version upgrades much easier because they are separate programs, little programs, what is much easier to upgrade. So I, I do suggest you to check this kind of um, uh, web page, appsource.microsoft.com. This is uh, the similar place like you have for Google or uh, iOS. Uh, where you download apps and uh, here are apps for actually not only the business central if you have outlook or you have excel using you can uh, download some additional add-ins or add-ons for this uh, this program also but i'm now looking for business central and you can see at the moment in app store there are uh, 761 apps what can extend your functionality of business central actually uh, this number is rising all the time. There was some months ago it was 400. So everybody does something uh, something here. For example, in Finland, you want to send electronic invoices and you search for Finvoice. Please, there is an app for a business central for a, uh, okay, I'm going to rate. For uh, Finvoice, uh, for Finnish, Finnish market, you can see what is uh, included uh, functionality here. You can see some um, example screenshots and so on. And if even you can uh, get the free trial here, you can try it in your business central and then decide either you gonna pay something for that. There are some apps what are what you have to pay on a monthly basis. Some apps are for free of charge. And it is so so easy. It is actually, of course, 
right here you can uh, download and try at once if you're using the cloud solution of Business Central. If you're using on-premise solution, it's in your own server, then you have to contact with the uh, with the publisher of this uh, this uh, app, and he 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 then agrees how to how to put this app into your solution. So one one example. So um, I talked about power, a little bit Power BI, a little bit artificial intelligence. Now I'm talking about Excel. Uh, I believe everybody uses Excel. Say what you ever want to say, but you are using Excel. Uh, what is the cool thing is actually in older versions of NAV there was a there was an option to send the information to the Excel. Now you have one additional uh, option here. As you see, you have you can open all these lists. It's a, at the moment it's customer list, but also item list, or vendor list, or some entries. You can send it to Excel and. Uh, do some analysis there or had ad hoc reports, whatever. But now we have also uh, additional uh, option is edit in Excel. And what actually edit in Excel does, now Excel connects, you can see it's all automated here, but Excel connects with my business central database, takes this table customer list and uh, brings all this data here into the, into the Excel. What is the nice part is actually, uh, you can modify this so-called stat static data here. Let's take it, uh, let's take, let's make it Prisma. Uh, I changed something in Excel. And now if I, uh, if I uh, press here, uh, publish, what it actually does, he will send all this data what they uh, modified here. He will send back uh, to the business central. As you can see, I have Sokoyu here, but if I do a refresh, now it's Prisma. Of course, you can't change the number, so you can change the entries. You can delete, can't delete any sales entries, for example. But for this um, easier uh, <laughs> data management, it's quite a cool tool. I know that our customers uh, of business and they're using it uh, quite uh, quite often. And with la latest version, actually, let's take uh, sales orders. Uh, with uh, latest version, there will uh, was added one more functionality. Let's take one sales order, what has more lines? Maybe it's better better to show. Wow. If you have like a long uh, long uh, orders and you want to change something, you can also send the uh, send the sales order lines to Excel and modify and do some, I don't know, to do some calculations maybe also in Excel and you can prepare uh, in, it in Excel and then send it back to the business center and only then send to, to do your vendor or customer. I will, it shows all the, all the columns, but I don't want to see all the columns. I, I hide some columns. Okay, now it's small. So, as you can see, the same the same rows what I have on sales sales uh, uh, sales uh, order. It's some kind of Sydney chair, five pieces, unit price two hundred, and total price is one thousand something. I can do the changes now uh, here. I want it ten pieces. I'm not gonna send it. I'm not gonna sell it with. Uh, with, uni, uh, with two, 150 uh, or 210, I'm gonna sell it for 300. So I made changes here and I publish it back to the uh, <coughs> uh, to the business central. And now these numbers all should change. If I do refresh, I do refresh. Yeah, please, everything has changed. So. The Excel is uh, just making you um, working with big data amounts much easier. So now I have approximately 50, 50, more, 50, 50 more minutes to go. This was Excel, integration with Excel. I will show you integration with Outlook. Now I open Outlook. The Outlook, I open now web-based Outlook, but of course you can use your installed into your computer Outlook also. 
What is the good thing? Usually salespeople or purchase people, they are using uh, Outlook a lot because they are sending emails, they are receiving email from customers, from vendors, and it's a normal tool to work with uh, on everyday basis. So I'm going to create new message, new email message. And um, what I have here, actually, you can see I have a Business Central uh, add-in for the Outlook, and then I have two things. I have contact insights, and I can create, actually, I can create inside the Outlook, I can create new documents for Business Central without leaving Outlook. So I'm, I, I can work inside the Outlook with my Business Central data. I'm gonna show you a little bit. Let's take contact insights. So if I'm going to send an email to somebody, I can open uh, my contact database let's take I, I know they have one favorite curl megan and i'm gonna send an email to megan what it happens he brings the megan email automatically here but it's a uh, easy busy part but what i'm what i like very much is actually without leaving an outlook he uh, displays me some financial data inside the outlook inside my email so if I'm communicating with my vendors or my customers, I don't have to switch to the business central. Uh, I can see all the necessary data here. So I can say, please, please, Megan, pay my 50, 50 kilos <laughs> or something like that. Or I can see if uh, somebody asks me, are you, are you have, do you have any quotes for me? Yes, I have one quote. I can open right it uh, right from here, from Outlook, no problem. I have my sales figure, something. And as you know, in Business Central or, or already from NAV times, if you have active numbers, you can press on active numbers and it takes you to all the ledger entries. You can see where these numbers can come. Uh, yeah. So you can, uh, you can uh, find a lot of, lot of information. Well, let's take one statistics. And let's pop it out in a different window. So inside the Outlook, I can take uh, like a historical sales or a historical costs for these customers. Balance, outstanding orders, costs, pa, 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 profits, so on, so on. And everything without leaving an Outlook. So uh, Microsoft uh, has put quite a lot of effort to uh, make this Office package uh, program work together with Business Center. And Quick, quickly, a little example. It's an Estonian example. <laughs> uh, please make me a quote for these uh, products. I found from your homepage for these products. Please uh, make me a quote or an offer. And what it does, actually, now I can create the quote right from, uh, from Outlook. I don't have to go to the business center. Oops. And uh, what, what it does now, it actually scans my content of my email and compares it uh, with my product database. And what it said now, he found that in my uh, email content, there are some similar terms like in my product database. And um, if I now wanted to create a sales quote, he asked me, maybe I want to just put some of these, what I found the same in our database. I want to put them on my, uh, on my sales quote. So he didn't find the uh, Toyota Land Cruiser because I don't have Land Cruiser in my in my product database. So this I have to put manually, but he found one similarity. And with a couple of clicks, it's here. Even the quantity is here. Now I have to add Toyota Land Cruiser, whatever I want to sell also here. So. Again, a little little uh, art, uh, artificial intelligence thing. So uh, I showed you Excel, Power BI, AI, a little bit, uh, some words about Word. Uh, Business Center also works together with Word. It was actually, it worked already, I believe, in late, late uh, latest uh, uh, NAV versions. But uh, here is one, uh, one functionality I'm going to search. 
Uh, the search is very good functionality. I press Alt Q and I search for report layouts. I, I know this somewhere in this program there is functionality. So uh, I found it. The search function is very good. And now I know that uh, I searching for sales invoices. And if I have like a, uh, let's, let's run this uh, document review and uh, with the word actually with the word you can buy yourself without uh, without the partner site partner involvement you can change the, the the layout of the these documents for example at the moment i have this kind of layout i have this something something blue here is a empty column and so on and if I want to change it, I just uh, export the layout and uh, I open it in words. And uh, as you can see, this is metadata. Uh, this means this should be uh, name of the customer. Let's make it red or something. Let's, uh, I don't know, my message here, come and come and buy or something. Uh, I can, what I had is, I have, uh, I had here on empty column because uh, on standard documents, here is job task, but if I'm not using job module, job module is a product management, uh, with project management, sorry, I don't use it, I can delete it and I can make it wider. And so it is, I'm gonna save it default mode yeah and now i made changes and now i just import this layout import this layout default mode and let's see what uh, with couple of clicks actually i made a little changes not, not something not very special but as you can see as you can see, I made the name of the company red and I wrote here some message and I deleted one column here and actually the end users can do it by themselves. Of course, if it's going to make uh, go more complicated, then it can uh, require of involvement of the loop developer, but the easy, easier parts can be done uh, by, by customer itself. So I have last five minutes and I have one question here more. Uh, the question is, I talked uh, something about different versions of Business Central. Uh, yes, uh, I mean different versions, you can, how, how you can use uh, the, the Business Central, I, I create in Excel maybe, it's uh, just more. I can use uh, Business Central so-called on-premise. What does it mean? It means you have your own server. Option one, you you have your own server, you want to install the business central into your own server. No problem, you can do it, you can do it. Then the second part is so-called hosted. You you take your service provider, for example, Telia or Microsoft Azure or whoever, and you put your uh, business central in somebody else's server and you can use it. And the latest uh, technology what Microsoft brought on the market was, uh, with the changing the name from Navision to Business Central is actually cloud. Uh, some technical people or IT people can call it also SaaS, what means software as a service. So you have three options to use, uh, to use Business Central. And what are the differences here? So if you want, if you're going to, uh, if you're going to decide either to go on premise or hosted, the first one, is actually the license. How are you gonna purchase the license? Uh, if you put, if you want to put the, the business central into your own server, you can purchase purchase license, or you can rent the license on monthly basis. The same goes for is hosting, but in cloud there is only option is to uh, pay monthly fee for licenses. No, no purchase. And uh, 
if, if you have familiar with different ERPs or software packages, you know they have this so-called enhance, enhancement fee. Enhancement fee is actually so-called version upgrade fee or, or, or insurance that you pay this fee and you have right to go onto newer versions. So for a business central, it's 16% uh, per year. And uh, you pay. Um, uh, you pay if you have purchased, then you pay 16% per per year. If you have rented, then it's included in rental price. The same goes for hosted. You have the same options, and in cloud, it's uh, in, included in monthly fee. So. This is one big uh, difference. Another big difference is you need server hardware and software for uh, running the business central. If you are on-premise, uh, it's an additional investment for you. You have to buy a server, you have to buy Windows server licenses, you have to buy SQL server licenses, and so on. If you host it somewhere in Delhi Azure, then uh, most probably this service provider ask, asks you for a month, additional monthly fee for that. But if you're going for the cloud or SaaS, then it's, I would hit here, it's included in monthly fee. One big difference. <coughs> and maybe uh, another big difference, what is also related with the first question I had, is the version upgrades version upgrades for on-premise and hosted partner partner will do it for additional fee or cost or however you call it in cloud it actually it's going to be on background microsoft does it microsoft does it but a little little remark it um, may require some testing of customer customer specific uh, developments or these apps but it, it's it's minor uh, it's not big big number of hours so as you can see the answer to your question is actually you have three options how to purchase purchase uh, business center is it on premise hosted or or the cloud and it depends on your needs and uh, what kind of functionality you need there so actually uh, the 45 minutes have come i actually i have several more topics but uh, i'm not gonna talk uh, talk about these topics anymore if you have any questions please send it uh, to us we have also even if i'm now in estonia we have uh, our own office in espo and there is uh, also support in local in finnish language you don't have to speak english uh, with them if you have any questions, feel free, be, please feel free to ask them. Uh, we can uh, do the next demos. We can do the next sessions and talk maybe in detail some, some something about sales or something about uh, inventory. Please just let us know and we will organize that. So for today, I will finish with that. I hope that you got some idea of the, of the environment itself and about the integrations with other Microsoft uh, solutions. Power BI, Excel, Word, Outlook. I had no time to show you, uh, show you these um, Power Apps, but I can do it next time. So, till now, we do the next time then. Thank you very much.